To help understand why a negative multiplied by a negative equals a positive, we can use the example of moving right or left on a number line. In this example, let's consider a person walking along the number line. The first factor will determine if the person is facing right or left. The second factor will decide if the person walks forwards or backwards. In our first example, the first factor is positive. That means that our person on the number line will be facing right. And the second factor is also positive. So the person on the number line will be walking forward. This results in a positive product. In the next example, the first factor is negative. So the person on the number line will be facing left. And the second factor is a positive. So the person will be walking forwards. This will result in a negative product. The third example starts with a positive factor. So the individual on the number line will be facing right. And the second factor is a negative, which means that the person will be walking backwards, also resulting in a negative product. And our last example is when both factors are negative. The person on the number line will be facing the left and walking backwards which results in a positive product.